Inda, warte mich. Nee, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, indeed. What a one. Welcome to it, ladies and Is it like gentlemen. a standard for you to greet in Venda? Yeah, I'm trying to make it my thing. I'm okay. No, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> oh, that kind of brought you into prominence, actually. Come to think of it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, man. Inda, what it do, man? What it do? Welcome to the Podcast and Chill, episode 21. Uh, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. You're still counting. Yeah, man, you gotta count, dog. Jeez, bro, I lost count like a long time ago. So when we get to 100, then we know, hey, we've been doing this thing. Yeah. If we do get to 100. No, we will. We will. We will. I mean, we, got, so. we, got, we got our peeps out there, man, and, 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 and they're showing us love. So we gotta keep giving them the drug. So uh, if you're wondering why you can't hear the ghost lady, sadly she can't join us today. A friend of hers passed away. See, 2018 just continues to just get worse and worse. Yeah, man, it's a creepy year. It's a creepy year. Can it just end? One more month. Almost one more month before it ends. Yeah, I heard on the radio it's like 40 days or something to go. Well, because it's Until, the 20th today, yeah. there's 10 days to the end of the month. See, now I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> there's 10 days to go to the end of the month. It's actually 41 days because December has... 31 days and because it's the 20th today and you're probably going to be hearing this on the 21st it will be 40 days so yeah. you actually your math is good I'm, I'm impressed no, no it's not me i heard it on the radio so i just remembered the number of days oh okay but just yeah. keep listening yeah mm, so that's good uh condolences to uh, her uh family's friend her friend's family and yeah 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 i always i never know what to say with like funerals and stuff it's actually a very it's you get put in a very weird space yeah because regardless of what you say it's sometimes it might make things easier or it can make it worse or it can make it worse yeah so you can never know what to say and what i've noticed is there are those people who you know they go they go ham in terms of condolences but you get other people who find you know the whole phrase that laughter is the best medicine mm, kind of thing mm, mm. you make jokes in yeah. those kind of situations so whatever works for you hey but that's that could be sensitive you know some jokes might land some might not <laughs> true <laughs> true, true. I mean? you know you could make a joke that hits home and yeah. then you just throw the person completely off which is which could be kind of yeah kind of awkward anyway on a lighter note this is podcast and chill my name is mac g len moleko is here what Dude, up man what i didn't up, see man? this whole weekend what was going on where were you bro what was ah, happening jeez where should i don't start? tell me another wedding oh, where should i start man damn on friday where was i on friday no on friday i knocked off from work late yeah. uh but just went home chilled played a bit of fifa mm. And then on Saturday, I went through to the Northwest, uh, like rural Northwest. You were in the Northwest? Yeah. Oh, wow. Drove there, but in and out, came back, slept again. But on Sunday, I uh, had a bribe for a friend of mine, Mutsidisi Mohono, because uh, she recently got crowned SA Sports Journalist of the Year. Oh, shit. Is that what you called me? Yes. Oh, fuck. I missed it. Yes. Oh, shit. And the whole crew was there. Oh, fuck. Pride. Hey, I, was, I was hanging, dog. I was <laughs> hanging. You know when I'm hanging, because I'm old now, it takes me like a whole fucking week to recover. Nah, so dude, I don't I'm, take any calls, bro. I think I'm still, I'm still trying to recover because it was, it was that mad. Ah, was so that Tidi mad. was there. Tidi was there. Tato was there. Ah, Mbali shit. was there. Foya was there. Dumisani was there. Ah. Simnikiwe was there. So, yeah, pretty much the crew was there. Aldrin was there. Eesh. The crew was there. So, yeah, I had, had mad fun, man. And big up to Mutsidisi Muhono once again. I'm going to give you claps, 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 claps. It was like a whole surprise thing as well. She didn't know. Oh, man, I feel so bad because I know you guys had fun. It's always oh, lit when the course, gang's course, together. Of course. But and it's funny enough because I was never part of news. <laughs> but I'm still part of the gang. <laughs> but, yeah, we love you anyway. The, the weirdest thing about it, though, was... I got put, it was an awkward position, but it was not an awkward position. Yeah. So there were two kids, right? One of them is my goddaughter. Yeah, yeah. And the other one is the child of my neighbor. Mm. So everybody's there having fun. So this was at your place? Drinking. Yes. Oh, I was here almost. Yes. Fuck. Could it must, I make, my must, I make it, must I make it worse? <laughs> 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 you know, so we're chilling and everything. So everybody's like, all right, we're having fun. Mm. And then, yeah, I turned out to be Uncle Len. So I was like looking after the kids, playing, swinging them on the swing. But I've seen you with uh, Tato's kid. You're very good with kids. When are you having your own, bro? When the time allows. Mm. Or oh, are you shooting blanks? Is there something you want to tell us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a prolific scorer. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no. Okay. It's the right time, you know. Everything has a time. So 
Yeah, it's one of those, man. And your weekend, what happened? Ah, How you did you the, hang? Ah, you know the usual men gigs. Um, uh, oh, but I decided to to, to have a blunt. And Finally, <laughs> I was chilling. I'm like, fuck. Let me what, just. Are have you a like blunt. preparing for the party? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. I was just like chilling, and I was like, I don't feel like drinking today. Let me have a blunt. So I had a blunt. Oh, okay, it makes sense. Now I know why these kids love trap, dude. I probably listened to Sicko Mode for like a whole hour. Because it was just li- so you good. You to who? Sicko Mode. It's a track by Travis Scott and Drake. Oh. So, so what I'm trying to say is that basically when you're high, trap music is the shit, dude. Now I understand everything they're saying in the track. Because when I'm so Wow, because you like... Does it like mellow you down and yes. then you are able to sort of like zone into the track? Yes, it's ah, a bloody fucking hell. movie, dog. Nah, it's chilled. Maybe that's why they drink. Kind of what's that drink of theirs? Lean and stuff. Lean, yeah. No, but I get why these kids are always high and I get why they love trap music. When you're high, trap music is the best music to listen to. It's not noisy. It's just fucking <laughs> That dope, shit man. is noisy. Nah, yeah. <laughs> when you're sober. Okay. When you're high, it makes sense. Okay, Because the guys recording the music are also high. Fair point, fair point, <laughs> fair point, fair point, fair point, fair point. I ain't going to argue with that, man. I ain't going to argue with that. But yeah, apart from that, uh, the weekend being the weekend, uh, heard something very weird actually on the news on no, no before we get to news so today because the ghost lady is in here i decided let me let's switch things up so i think we're going to start with the game today we're playing a game yeah we we'll finally a found a game yeah after 20 episodes yeah I finally okay. found a game. Yay. So, big, ups, uh, big ups big ups for the game so and then what's up with you <laughs> your animated voices today what's going on i'm just happy i'm in a happy <laughs> space bruv so when you start doing animation, uh, when your voice changes, you must know you, we must know you're happy. Yes, sir. Because you've done like 10 impressions. No, I'm trying to like get into the whole space of uh, playing with my voice and, you know, getting my voice to be okay. like different tones, accents, what, what, in, 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 in. That's all I'm doing. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So the game is called Brain Busters. Yeah. Whose brain are you trying to bust? Not mine. Yes, yours. It's a, it's a feature I used to do on my radio show when I was lazy. <laughs> Because you know what I do? I Is that why we're sitting here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Now we know. Because <laughs> I'd ask the brain buster, ne? So first I'd play like five songs. So yeah. That's like 15, 20 minutes. Link. Ask the question. Play another five, ten songs. And then say the answer. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow. Okay. So you're ready for your first brain buster? Yeah. Brain okay. buster. Here we go, here we go. Here's the first brain buster. Okie dokes. Over 40% of those who are on dating websites say this info is important when looking for a potential date. What is it? What is it, Len? What do you think it is, my chana? Mm-hmm. What you do for a living. What you do for a living? Yes. Are you going to lock in on that answer? Is that your I'm final locking answer? locking in. It's my final answer. All right. So according to Len, over 40% of those on dating websites, I'm talking about Tinder, Say this info is important when looking for a potential date. And, what and, is your and, profession? And, and, and Twitter as well. Twitter, yeah. Because what happens in the DMs is like literally homies looking for... Well, that's, people are just looking for a smash on Twitter, truth be told. There are those that get love, but majority of the time, people are looking to just get laid, man. Unless you DM Caesar Clomo, then you ain't getting nowhere. Ah, <laughs> Nigga doesn't fuck around. Yeah. <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't know you... <laughs> It ain't happening. <laughs> you ain't got the C's. Uh, the answer is what their favorite TV show is. Really? Yeah, that's the answer. Wow. Yeah. But I guess it kind of makes sense because if I like a show that you like, then chances are we have something. Generations. <laughs> Jeez, I can't remember when I last watched Generations. Dog. No, like, I, I can't. I don't watch terrestrial oh, TV. Oh, I think I was still in high school, dude. Fuck. Right in Govenu was still in Generations. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and then that black lady with the big gold, with the big tits, man. What's her name? I don't know. Fuck. And then that lady who was like, she had like an American accent, but she was good, man. What, what's her name? Uh, I think her character was Monday, so um, Monday or something. I don't know who you're talking about, bro. Dude. I was never into Zopies, really. She's, she's on... Uh, the prison show? Are you talking about that lady? That lady. Oh, she's um, on the prison show Pamela, now. Pamela, Pamela non yes. 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 She was playing the character of Ntiki. Yes, Ntiki. Yes. yes. That's the last time I watched Generations. Damn. Damn. How old are you? Uh, Never enough. mind. We'll old leave enough. that for another day. It's fine. But uh, what are your favorite TV shows? If you had to, uh, are you are, are you gonna spread it down to local, international, or just overall? Yeah, let's just say 2018. What have been your favorite TV shows? 
2018 favorite series. TV series, TV shows. I must give big ups to the Queen, man, because okay. uh, my cousin is addicted to like soapies and shit, right? Yeah. So every time at home at nine o'clock, even during Champions League, I have to negotiate for the television because of the Queen. But you get into it and you see it's a, it's actually a dope production, man. Must give it give it give it a high five. It's 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 proper. Yeah, a lot of people show the Queen some love. Yeah. And the prison show that I'm talking about, uh, Lockdown. 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 Yes. No, that, that, that's a proper production. So animal. I hear, dog. Yeah, proper production, bro. And it's done by that guy from uh, Gang Gangs of, of Instrumental. Instrumental. Yes. What's his name? Is it Mandla? Mandla something. I could be wrong, yeah, but I think his name is Mandla. What a fucking great career move. Eh? He's like, this music shit ain't working. <laughs> I'm not on song. Let me go. <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> I'm not on song. <laughs> Let me go the other way. Let me go the other way. <sighs> and I'll add Narcos into that. Ah, yes. Because uh, I know Narcos Mexico is out now. It's waiting for me. I'm going to be watching it this whole coming weekend. And no, no. The soccer's back this weekend. Ah, Chief, I'm watching Narcos Mexico. I'm going to arrange my weekend accordingly. Ten I, episodes in and out. You're done. One hour each. That's ten hours. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's me. I'm fucking with Ozark. Love that shit. Oh, apparently season two is... Oh. It's amazing. I haven't right? checked out season two. I last watched season one. Mm. So, yeah. Must, oh, put, must put my fiber to good use. It reminds me FTTH. of... FTTH. Oh, you got fiber now? FTTH. Hey, join the club. Hit FTTH. Now. Hit now. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell me nothing. Dude, fiber will change your life, dude. Yeah. It will connect you. You can watch uh, porn without feeling guilty. Like, shit, I just killed a gig <laughs> <laughs> on porn. <laughs> So I can go to Pornhub Premium now. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of those. Uh, what else am I fucking with? Power was nice. Uh, Vikings, you know. I never I really Vikings. got into Power. Vikings, I think I only watched season one. Jeez, uh, what else can I throw into the mix, man? In terms of series this year. Jeez. The but, Walking Dead just... It oh, became no, a drag. It's lost it. Lost it. it was... Yeah, it became walk and talk. <laughs> what? Walk the talk. Well, that one. Like, yeah. Nah. There's, some, there's some shows that I think... Go on for way too long. Uh, the Walking Game Dead of Thrones? Is, no, no, no. Walking, Game of Thrones is fucking epic. Oh my gosh, you were throwing me. But anyway, that's fine. Um, Walking Dead is definitely one of them. Um, Empire, another one. It's been going on for yeah, too long. Yeah, it, 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 lo- it lost its tune somewhere, that one. Eh? <laughs> like, it was, it, the beat was coming all right. And then, like, yeah. No. Yeah, Cookie and Lucius, yes, we get it. You know, you started off uh, from the bottom. Yeah, The now. Cookie lost the taste. Yeah, anyway. But yeah, okay. So here's the next Brain Buster. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. We're playing Brain Buster. Uh, here's the next one. One in six drivers on the road right now have this in their car. What is it? I'm actually one of them. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it sounds hard, but when I tell you the answer, you're going to be like, actually, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. We're we talking about male or female drivers because you say it one sounds in six drivers on the road, male and female, right now have this in their car. What is it? It's a cell phone. Nope. I think everybody in there, in, it, that it wouldn't be one in six. I think that would be everyone. So you're saying one in six one has in this six. in their cars? Yeah. So if in traffic, ne? Yeah. When you see one car, yes. You see, I count to six and then another one. Yes. Yeah. I know what one to six means. Yeah, I'm just six explaining. Okay. One breaking, out of six. Yeah. Yes. Just breaking it down. Okay, that should be... Hmm. Damn, that's actually very difficult. But when I tell you the answer, you're going to be like, oh, makes sense. One in six. One in six. What so do this is the time I'd be playing like five songs. <laughs> <laughs> A porn magazine? No. Oh. People still have porn magazines. Yeah. Wow, Len. I don't know that. Where do you even get them? I don't know. Okay. I'm assuming. Uh, memory so stick? Are you are you locking it down on that? No, no, no. Let me not lock it down first. Let me just uh play Are you locking it down like Mandla? Ha 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 ha. I see what you did there. Huh. Jeez, man, it's actually difficult this. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Okay, you got ten seconds now. Okay, I'm gonna lock down. Mm-hmm. Makeup. Makeup. Okay. So, you know, I did say guys and girls. 
There are guys who put the ghost lady told us there are guys who put on makeup. <laughs> well, it's 2018. Exactly. <laughs> For all I, I like it's just that maybe you've never seen there are, there are guys who wear makeup. Uh all right, so Lynn's locking in on makeup. One in six drivers on the road right now have this in their car. I am one of them. It is a warning light that is on. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think I'm one of them. Yeah, we all have that warning light, dog. That is on, and you don't know why it's on. No, I know why mine is on. Well, what's it for? It's patrol. <laughs> 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 I know why my patrol warning light is on. <laughs> That's a good one. So, yeah, no, totally get it. Totally can relate because it's tough times, bro. Patrol is like 18 rand a liter now. So, yeah. It's, it's why isn't patrol like one six rand? Yeah, that's when you were watching Generations. Dude, I once uh, I bought bread the other day at the garage. It was 18 rand. Yes. For a loaf of bread. Yes. I'm like, what in the fuck? When, when did it get to 18 rand? Where else are you going to buy it at that time of the night? Jeez, that's a lot, man. Why are you buying bread at like 12 anyway? No, it wasn't at 12. What time was it? I don't know, but I was going home and I figured I don't have Oh, bread. so you chose the garage over going to like a, a supermarket, a chain supermarket. I just needed bread and I saw a garage, so I got bread. So then why are you complaining? Because I never knew it was that expensive. But bread or anything at a garage is expensive. Why do you think they don't sell alcohol at garages? Well, that would be dodgy, but yeah. Yeah, I guess. A mm, packet of cigarettes is like 50 rand. Yeah. You have to give away half your lung <laughs> <laughs> for a packet of cigarettes. Uh, all right, here's the last one. Okay, I'm going to do the last one. Now. Uh, are you ready for it, Len Muleka? Yeah, man. You haven't got like lost one. already. Yeah, yeah. okay, Jesus, cool. deep. Uh, maybe you can it's get this deep, one. Though. Here we go. Hmm. Here is the last brain buster for today. Men are four times more likely to do this at a party than women. Men Cheat. are four times more likely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good guess. <laughs> is it the correct one? Nope. It's a good guess though. I'll give you one more chance. Uh, See, the questions sound hard, but when I tell you the answers. Link up with a stranger. Nah. Oh, no, that's women. Uh, <laughs> and then they hook up with a man yeah. who cheats. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Men are more likely to do what? To cheat, man. Okay, you said cheat doesn't work. Hook up with a stranger doesn't work. Uh, God damn. 10 seconds. Give me 10 seconds now. Jeez, this is difficult. Think about it, Charlie. Think about it, Charlie. What do you think it is, Charlie? Pass out. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's a good guess, actually. But it's incorrect. Uh, it's leave without saying goodbye or thanks to the host. I'm drunk. Why am I saying thanks? And I actually never say goodbye. Actually. Well, there are those people that do. I, 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 I look. It's it's good manners to do that. Mm. But. At like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, I ain't going to look for the host to be like, yo, dude, I'm out of here. Mm. I understand subsequently what the implications thereof might be because anything between you leaving and getting to where you're supposed to get to, anything can happen. Oh, so, no, no, I'm lying. Actually, I do say I'm leaving. No, you don't. Haven't I said I'm leaving when, no. I, when I come to your house? No. <laughs> so what do I do? I just leave. You don't even get to your house and say, I'm home. <laughs> I just work on the assumption that you're home, phone you the next day, and it's like, oh, yeah, dog, what's up? I'm hanging. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's one of those, man. Yeah. It, it happens. I think it's, it's, we live such busy lives that we tend to forget the most basic things True. that we're supposed to do. True. Because anything could have happened. You know, you could meet a stranger at the gate. Yeah. And cheat. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Mm. I'll try work on that. So, do you meet strangers at the gate? Because I care you don't. Which gate? No, I don't know. When you leave parties, chief. Nah, bro, I usually leave with someone. Do you prefer the club or actually house parties? Oh, I love house parties, man. I'm over clubs, dog. The only reason I'm at clubs is because uh, you know I get paid to DJ there. Uh, hello. But other than that, jeez, listen to you. I get paid to DJ. But other than that, I love chill sessions, man. No, chill sessions are the they the future where well, you can have a discussion. And talk to people. Because you can't exactly have a conversation in a club. Nah. Like, yo, MacGyver! <laughs> Did you see what people were saying about you and your 500 rand in the club? <laughs> 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 uh, let, me, 
Maybe you should go to the comments. It explains why I don't go to clubs. Yeah, no, I can tell you, haven't been, dude. It's good. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, it's let me cool. read some of the comments from the last episode. Uh, Musa says this podcast is a future. I follow it religiously already. Thank you, Musa. Yay! We love Muto you, man. KG says, "Yay, we reached one k. Yes, we did. Yes, all thanks to you." That's pretty dope, man. I never thought we'd reach it so quick. I thought it was going to take us like a year or something. Um, Kino, he says, Megji Uyang Kaza Yaz. Translation? You're rocking, you're rocking. Oh, okay. Uh, Say hi to her. Hi. Hi. Kineso. My Ify says, do it, G. Thousand subscribers party in Soweto. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. So we're still doing it because uh, the ghost lady won't be able to join us because she's going to, she's got funeral. There's still a whole month. (laughs) So we're not doing it this weekend. No, we're not do- I'm not even around this weekend. Oh, you're not? Yes. yes. I'm going to Durban. Shit, nigga. <laughs> Northwest, Durban. What's going on? Dude, <laughs> I'm a traveling man. <laughs> moving through places, space and time. Hey, this Got is- a lot of things I got to do. <laughs> this new job of yours, eh? <laughs> Love it to bits, man. It's keeping you busy. Loving, loving, loving it to bits. Monday, Sam Mazala says, 1,000 subscribers. Reveal Ghost Lady, please. Celebration party, yay. Uh, we're all over the country, PE, but you can do it for the people in Joburg. Your oh, Ghost I'll be Lady. I'll PE soon. Hey, hey, no. Is there anywhere you're not going? Stog. Stog. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a traveling man, man. Uh, yo, Ghost Lady, those texts are beyond annoying. What texts were these? What are we the, talking about? The ones where you're blowing up somebody's phone. Ah. And some hi, hi. Oh, oh yeah, hi, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Oh, hi. here we go. Here's the, the comment I was looking for. Humutu Baloi says, Len is alone with 500s. <laughs> LOL. Yes, I'm alone with that. That's mine. <laughs> I'm not jeering. Yeah. Voltrex is too lit. Oh, yeah. Voltrex. What's happening? Oh, they watch the podcast. What up, man? Voltrex. Ah, those guys, they get high like all day, every day. Five, four joints, man. I'm high all the time. Uh, do it, team. Please do it on the 16th of December in Josie. Uh, are, are people going to come? Or else uh, in Cape Town any time? Well, I guess if people are saying we must do it, then 16th. 16th December. Yeah. Ah, there's a lot going on with and that That's date. what I'm saying. Are people going to come? Ah, there's a lot. Someone's saying, nice dress, ghost lady. Hey, now. <laughs> Where did they see the dress? <laughs> I remember she walked when... Uh, oh. Yeah, when our camera hey. wasn't working. Okay. Uh, that moment at... But we uh, did say it was colorful, because I carry on a Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So, like, you know, her glow up is on the glow up. Ghost lady sounds like Tatum Wing from Super Sport. Not a uh, we chance. We can categorically tell you that it is not <laughs> Tatum Wing. She'd want to get paid, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford her. We can't afford we her. We can't afford her, no. Uh, y'all said we will see the ghost lady when we reach 1K. Well, she said she, she wants said 2K. No. We, wanted, we wanted you guys to see her, you know? Uh, I'm asking for an invite. Please, Kia Kupa, please. Yes, Bram is perfect. Great podcast, guys, like always. Mid-range, but isn't please. everybody going to be gone from Bram? Mm, yeah, this is like the silly weekend, and then after that, everyone disappears slowly but surely. Yeah, and that's when Joba gets the most weirdest. In it's a ghost town in, in December, right? You can like literally go from Midrand, Centen, Four Ways, whatever, and you get there in less time than you did the whole freaking year. Yeah, I've been working throughout December for like. 10, 15 years now in Joburg, and it's a ghost town, especially like when you start getting to Christmas. And then for some weird reason, 31st is a jump because everybody just wants to turn up and then it quiet down, quiets down again. For like a week and then everybody comes yeah, back because work yeah, starts. Yeah. yeah, but something interesting that I was actually thinking about, well, two things. The other one is serious, so I'm going to put it on the back banner for now. So, you know what's happening this Friday? No. Well, Black Friday. You know what came to mind, right? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell our guys, uh, our viewers, a funny story. <laughs> Did you almost say our listeners? <laughs> well, there are people who listen. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! True. You know, there are people who go on TV and say, uh, "Thank you, thank you, uh, good evening to the listeners." Like, no, we're watching. Anyway, last year, <laughs> MacGyver comes to my house at two o'clock in the morning. Oh fuck! He's like, "Dude, I want to get into this Black Friday shit." We drive from Joburg to Pochestrum. It's like at 2 in the morning. Yeah, this is about 200 kilometers, give or take. But did we start in Pretoria and there was a queue? No, you started in Pretoria oh, and there yes. was a queue. Yeah. I was at home sleeping and gauging what I'm going to do the following day. Mm. But you needed a TV. Yeah. And then he came, dragged me out of bed, got into a car, went to Poch at 2 in the morning. And we came back at like 4 in the afternoon on a Friday. Yeah. 
And the reason we, bro- uh, we went to Poch is because every... We thought there were no queues. Uh, there weren't. No, there wasn't, yeah. Because we were you, were, you, were, you were in Pretoria, there were queues. Yeah, there was a queue at, at game. At, at like 12, midnight. Yes. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm not about this life. Dude, and I'm thinking about that right now, right? Like, when something is on sale, and obviously, like, money-wise, times are tough, you. Yeah. You know? So if you're going to get bread for 10 rand, you'll probably <laughs> <kill. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, Aiden Rand is a lot. Hey, hey, hey. I was shocked, man. <laughs> I had bread was a lot. And it reminds me, uh, 2010, mm. when the World Cup tickets were being handed out, or when they because you remember they were selling them in stages. Yeah. So the last round of tickets being sold, I had to queue in Santon. You know, there where they sell very expensive cars mm. uh, next to, it's by the BMW, man. It's on Rivonia Road, I think. I could be wrong, the name of the road. Yeah. I got there at 6 yeah. on a Thursday, right? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah. So when people were knocking off, I got there. Mm. Slept there. You slept there? I only left that place at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. For fucking tickets? And I didn't even get the tickets that I needed. Jeez, dude. I was number... Weren't you working at YFM then? What did you... I was. So why did you just ask for tickets? It doesn't work like that. Fucking hell. So we, we had to buy. Yeah. You know? So but you're a journalist. Don't, think, don't you get this, this shit is, for free? Uh, this is not Zoom, much. This is Sepp Blatter. You know, there are levels to this thing, eh? Yeah. There are levels to this thing. But so, you're media. Don't you get accreditation? Yeah, there's, they sift you out. They sift you out. They oh, will, levels. Yes, it's levels. I'm not BBC. Oh, okay. I'm not saying it, YFM is not BBC level. Yeah. Well, they're not. Because <laughs> they are YFM. <laughs> are you telling me Robert Murray had to buy tickets as well? Because he worked for SABC and Super Sport as broadcast partners, it was easier for them. Ah, uh, so if YFM was a broadcast broadcast partner, yes, then, uh, okay. it would have been easier for yeah. you know. So, yeah. dude, spent yeah, I spent more than twelve hours on the streets of Santon. What game did you get? Uh, geez, World Cup. What games did I watch? I watched Germany. I watched Argentina. I watched Portugal, Ivory Coast. Uh, I watched the USA, Ghana. I think I watched over like 10, 10 games. We spent close to about 30 grand on tickets. Yeah. But anyway, moral of the story is if you're participating in Black Friday, uh, just be careful out there. Knock it gets off. crazy, so man. So if you're doing Black Friday, right, this is my advice to you. I've done this one or two times in my life. Yeah. You're when you knock now. off on Thursday, go home, with this cappuccini, take your sleeping bag and maybe a blanket and an umbrella because it might rain on Friday morning. And then make your way to your respective whatever shop you want to buy, whatever you want to buy at about 8 o'clock on a Thursday night. What happened to like take a lot? Can't you just buy shit and take a lot? Yeah, take a lot does not sell cars now, do they? Or <laughs> food or groceries now, do they? You know, you want to go to check us there because they're selling bread at five rand. You know? Yeah. No, the online thing is also cool, but chances are... It has happened previously that come 2 o'clock in the morning, because Take A Lot is going to start their sale at midnight. Come 2 o'clock, the website would have crashed. Yeah, true. But a friend was telling me, like, in America, Black Friday is, like, literally... The, Black Friday. The, it's, <laughs> 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 I'm no, saying I that. mean, like, literally, Black Friday, like, like, everybody is... You know, like, the cues that you get when a new iPhone is being released? Yes, yes, yes. It's kind of like that, but with every shop. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, they go crazy on the specials. Yes. Like, our specials, they're still not specials. Eh, some of them are, but most it's of almost them Almost special. Yeah, almost, you know. They're still not, like... I've kind of gotten some good deals. So, for example, the TV I bought was 7K, right? On I'm special. Special, No, that was last year, Chief. At still. You, no. bought, you went 7,000 and you bought a TV. Yeah, I needed it. Oh. Did you not have a TV? I did, but I didn't like it. There was a scratch on the side. How did that come about? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> brother, brother, you don't want to know, brother. You, brother, you don't want to know. <laughs> hey, that's the story for another day. <laughs> okay, okay. But okay. I'm saying, in America, that TV, I could have got it for two grand. Fair point. You know what I'm saying? Look, uh, take what you take, chief. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's because we import most of the stuff. True. There's yeah. also a whole lot of shit that's added into that. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I get you. I get you. Look, now what I'm looking forward to, and y'all, 
better give me like more discount on this. The one thing I'm looking forward to for this Black Friday, right, yeah. is the fact that one of my favorite coffee brands is literally half price. So which is? It's Nescafe Gold. Oh, okay. And Pick and Pay is selling it for like 60 bucks. Normally buy it for like 120, 130. I don't drink coffee, dude. Is that weird? Or tea or anything? Is that weird? Do you ever wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Then that explains why you don't <laughs> drink coffee. So you reckon if I had a 9 to 5, I'd be drinking a shitload of coffee? I think so. I think so. What does it help with? Because like sometimes when I was doing an early show, I'd have some coffee, but it really didn't. It deceives you into thinking that it's giving you energy. It's mm. like a drug. Coffee is like Coke. Mm. And I mean Coca-Cola, not, not Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Well, you can also attribute it to Pablo Escobar yeah. kind of thing, you know? Because caffeine is addictive. Yeah, and and that's why there's caffeine in Coca-Cola. And there's some Coke, Coca-Cola in Coke. I heard that on Narcos. I cannot... <laughs> deny nor no. confirm about now i don't know because i don't know the formula yeah. of coca-cola but i know for a fact there's caffeine yeah no the stuff that uh, they use to make a coca-cola the stuff that they leave out they use in coke how do you know this not course you just said they explained it in one episode yeah but maybe that thing could have changed now nah, i'm not involved disclaimer now nah, I heard that in Narcos. I cannot deny nor confirm what that happens now. Oh, yeah, you're thinking like the, the, the Secret Service is going to walk in. They could. Because <laughs> they're listening. Hey, these motherfuckers they are listening. I was talking about a Maserati the other day. I started seeing ads of Maserati <laughs> popping up. <laughs> ah, hey. Starting from 1.6 million. I'm like, nigga, I ain't trying to <laughs> buy a car. You're like, I get, I get the point. I know I'm broke, okay? <laughs> Show me. Show me a datin or something. Do you think um, there's going to be Black Friday at strip clubs? A Royal. <laughs> Royal. Every day at Royal is Black Friday on Fridays. <laughs> Imagine. Look, it's... You just got to get into the vibe of the whole thing. Yeah. It's... Uh, alcohol is cheap. You just have... Like, you know things that align. Kind of I think they call them complementary products or whatever. If you're going to make gem cheap... <laughs> You're making jam cheap so that whoever likes jam and peanut butter can buy them together. So if one is cheaper, the other one you don't make cheaper kind of thing. But Black Friday is a trap. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Because if, no, yeah, if you have like two grand left. And they're on payday. I think they sit down. Eh? Like a lot of people are getting paid on the 23rd. Yeah. Which is. Because the 25th uh, is a, fr- a Sunday. A Sunday. So you get paid on the and Friday. Without fail. Without fail. Every Friday that leads to a payday is Black Friday. Without fail. Everybody's paid. Everybody's got money. Well, not everybody. I take that back because there are people who get paid on the 28th, 29th, 15th. Ah, but if 15 did not spend anything, they waiting. (laughs) They waiting. (laughs) They waiting on that Black Friday shit. Yeah. You know? So it's that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to take part in it this year. I'm, I'm, I'm hacked. Shit happens. Yeah. Do you enjoy Black Friday, man? Anyway, so yeah. What you want to talk about? What did you want to oh, talk yeah. about in the beginning? You know, with um, so on Monday I woke up and there was a whole big hoo ha, and for a good reason about momentum and them not wanting to pay this other lady because the husband had blood oh, sugar levels that, yeah. and what what, but he died from a hijacking, and then they said, ah, you've got high blood. No, you were dishonest. We're not gonna pay you. Do you have life policies? Yeah, when you buy a house, you have to. If you had not gotten to a position of buying a house, would you have bought life policies? Mm, no, 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 no. My mom's the one who got me into this policy shit. <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck, dog. You know us, we live for now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it, ne? Like, you take a life policy, better funeral, what, what, in, 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 in. Yeah. That shit is not for your benefit, bro. It's not. Because you die, you're not going to be on some tip like, no... Uh, ah, no, I want a no. I want a funeral like this. You know, everybody else who's left behind are the ones who are gonna benefit from that. I've been scarred with these policies and insurance, man. I I, I remember when I wrote off my Mini Cooper. Yes. Um. So I think the insurance was my way. They were meant to, you know. Uh, they never. They were not doing things your way. <laughs> <laughs> so I crashed it, and I thought, you know, they're gonna pay it off and stuff or whatever. Ah. Did the investigation? What? 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 Yeah, they go to the, exactly. They go to the extent. So, 
um, I was reading some posts, and a friend of mine told me this, who works in the insurance. You know, industry. I was getting to a point, and I was about to finish my point. It's fine. Okay. But anyway, get to your, get to your point. As I was saying. Yeah. My way. <laughs> or the highway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they were like, no, we're not going to pay for it. So for like two years, I had to pay for a car I wasn't driving. Every with, month. With me, it was four. Four years? Yeah. Fuck, that's painful, eh? I know. Dude. After that, I was like, fuck it. Fuck insurance. If I crash, I crash. We had this discussion, I think, one of the podcasts where I was saying that I think the reason why my usage of taxis, and I have nothing against taxis, was so prolonged was because I think from year 2006, Eight. Yeah. Up until year 2012, I was paying for a car that was not there. Dude, that is the worst thing ever, bro. Why bought a 3,000 years and get David? 3,000. Oh, and you know what they did? They went to the extent of saying, oh, by the way, because uh, so they investigate, right? Yeah. So homies are there investigating, investigating. Investigation takes a month. After a month, they're like, ah, we're not going to pay you. I'm like, okay, cool. Where's my car? They're like, no, it's at storage. <laughs> Go to storage. He's like, yo, can I have my car? They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's been here for like 30 days. You owe us 50 grand. I'm like, where the hell am I going to get the 50 grand from? Uh, so if you ever see me driving old cars, you must know this is why. I was traumatized, dude. So not only did I have to pay for a car that was not there for like a good four years, I forfeited the car that I had or the wreckage as they call it. Mm. because the And you could have fixed it. I, I could have. Mm. The wreckage place or the storage place were like, no, your car was here for 30 days. And yeah, I was hacked, man. I did. I Ever hacked, since then, I, I bought a car cash. My one car's 20K. If I crash it, I'll buy another one the next day. <laughs> I fucking. I... <laughs> but yeah, no, this, 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 this whole insurance game is, 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 is steep. Bro. It's deep. But you need it because now when. Um, because I haven't bought a new car in a while, but I'm sure you need insurance to get financed. True. I, no, well, look, there are people who, I hope no insurance companies are watching this. There are people who go, buy a car, get insurance for a month mm. just so they can get the car out of the dealership. Mm. And once it's out, it's like, ah, it's fine. So you don't sign a contract? You can, you can cancel it. They can't tie you down. Mm. The bank just does it for, you know, to... Make sure that, yo, if anything happens to this car, then you are able to get paid back ah, for some odd reason. But the what I was trying to say earlier on when I interrupted you, my apologies, was that... So, what insurance companies do now is, right, they say you crash a car yeah, on the highway. They're like, okay, cool, you crashed your... Your Maserati, you know the one that's popping <laughs> up on the adverts there, <laughs> yeah. right? They're like, okay, cool. McG, you crashed your car. What happened? Police statement. They look at it. They're like, okay, cool. Uh, where were you? Where were you coming from? Mm. They look through your bank statement. Mm. Did you have any purchases that happened at an alcohol oh, place? Yes, yes. Uh, if you parked at a shopping mall, um, what speed were you driving mm. at? Uh, because you know we like things, this Instagram life, like, oh my gosh, look at me, I'm a Tasha's, uh, I'm having a mojito. They're like, ah, they check you out on social media as well. So they look And they go to Tasha's and look at the cameras. And the cameras, And yes. see how much drinks, how many drinks you had. Yes, they do that so that, because truth be told, as much as they are looking out for you, the main business of insurance companies is not to pay you. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. They try by all means not to pay you. So, because the more people they don't pay, the more they're pocketing in there, the more money uh, they make. Obvious, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, fuck, let's start an insurance company, dog. And we must pay people. <laughs> 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 but we're not gonna make any money, though. We're not gonna make any money, though. We're not gonna make any money, bad. But like, yeah, that's that's genuinely what happens, man. And then there's hippo, hippo.co.za. No, that's just like one company. That yeah. owns 10 companies <laughs> and they give you quotations from all, all the, 10 the 10 companies, companies they that own. they own. <laughs> so it's effectively, like, you're signing with them regardless of what happens. They're like, no, we're going to make life easy for you. It's like those people that say, I'm going to Harem. I don't like um, Sumo. <laughs> it's the same. You're going to the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> They're owned by the same people. <laughs> I don't like VW. I'm going to buy an Audi. Uh, <laughs> it's the same company. No, I'm going to buy a Porsche. <laughs> 
Still the same company. <laughs> Still the same company. So that's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah, fuck, man. Anyway, so since the ghost lady isn't here to spill the tea, I took liberty to find out what's been happening. Because, you know, we never read tabloids, dog. No. Uh, let's see what's been going on. Who did Caesar reject this week? Uh, he wasn't trending, actually. Uh, okay. I went on, uh, I'm old-fashioned. I went on Google. I didn't go on Twitter to see what's trending. Oh, okay. But anyway. Oh, it's fine. Uh, it's also a search engine. Not that Twitter is a search engine, but yeah. I get what you say. But tell me if you care or not. Michael B. Jordan? No. To meet care. fans in South Africa? Don't care. You don't care. Michael B. Jordan. Do you think he did well on um, Black Panther? He was I I didn't like his Zulu. I mean, sorry, his Kosa. It sounded, it sounded as fake as it was. But I think he didn't look like a villain to me, bro. He's too much of a pretty boy, man. Yeah, he looked like an underwear model. Yeah. They could have got someone, you know, like the best series you gotta watch where they, they have the best villains is Banshee. The, and the Blacklist. And you see, uh, like, Infinity War? Thanos. Thanos. Th- yeah, Thanos. Why do you say Thanos? Isn't yeah. it Thanos? Ah, it doesn't matter. Neither here or there. Oh, okay. But you know what I mean? But he looks like, yeah, 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 yeah. When you, when you. Okay, no. I mean, Buster Rhymes looks scarier than Michael B. Jordan. True. You know? Anyway, so next, what else was here? Um, what Zanzi- else has he done besides Black Panther? Creed. Oh, yes, he's, oh, yes, yes. You're yeah, right, he's you're coming right, to the country to promote to... Creed. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, cool. Starting here. Uh, yeah. I actually never watched the first one. Ah, it was pretty cool. Dope. And I hear the soundtrack for, for Creed um, is pretty dope as well. I'm looking forward to watching, uh, no, I forgot, I forgot the, is it Bohemian Rhapsody? The Queen biopic. I've you know given, Queen? No. You don't know oh, Queen, Queen, Queen. Queen the, the band. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, their biopic. That's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, when's that coming out? It should be coming out end of November because I think for me this year. <laughs> My 2000 thing we're talking about the Queen. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no. What's it? Tigo, there's no Tigom here. There's no Harriet. No. We're talking about Freddie Mercury here. You know? So, oh, um, I think for me this year, Black Panther was cool. Yeah. I've given Infinity, up with Infinity War, cool. And I think the year, the movie that's going to complete the year for me is going to be the Queen biopic. Sorry, man. We're almost out of time. Just to cut you off. I've given up on Americans and movies. The movies have been shit. Series? Dope. Movies? Yeah, losing it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. And big ups on... Uh, oh, big ups to Trevor Noah on his uh, Netflix special. Oh, yeah. I'm going to watch I'm, that straight I'm, after. Yeah, yeah. Me, straight I, after the podcast. I, I, hey, look. I'm FTTH now. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get to that when I get home, man. Okay, I've been trying to get to this for two minutes now. <laughs> Mzanzi has spoken. Younger wins Idols SA Season 14. Who's uh, younger? I have no idea okay, who it is. pass. Oh, Fuck big ups on AKA uh, Platinum, that album of his. So big ups. Oh, and Kespa's doing uh, Fill Up Moses Mabida on... But we'll talk about that next week. It's okay. Oh, and who do you have t- t- tickets for the Beyonce thing? Global concert? No. Global you citizen concert. Those, remember? Shit. I think that was the topic of our first episode. Fuck, I'm feeling formal, dude. I really want to go now, bro. Go. Make a friend. You don't have the plug. You don't know anyone. No. Fuck. Go open an net bank account. You might win one. I've got a net bank account. Ah, tell them you want the ticket. Nah. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna be a, they're gonna have a Black Friday special for those tickets? No, no. They're gonna to have to do something if they can't fill up the stadium. Oh no, no, no! Trust me, with the number of people that registered or downloaded the Global Citizen app, mm. I think FNB is filled three or four times oh, already. So they don't need to go crazy nah. and give out tickets nah. and stuff. Nah, they chilled. Yeah, you know when you dude, if if the Soweto Derby can be sold out in two hours, yeah. that's a ninety-minute soccer match. You know, you got ninety seconds left to go. But I was saying, you know, in an event, just weeks before or days before, they're like, we're giving away tickets. <laughs> no, it's r- <laughs> tag a friend, you and your five friends. Ish, dog. Ish. Don't go there, man. Don't that's go the there. It's a struggle. But actually, next week you must remind me. Um, Talking about concerts, that one is probably going to be nice. Yeah. But to date, with all the concerts that I've attended in this country, it's not going to come close to what Eminem did at Ellis Park a couple of years ago. Okay, we've got 30 seconds, man. We're out of here. Shit, not time the game. flew. 
Yeah, no, time flew, man. Uh, this has been Podcast and Chill. As always, do subscribe. Let us know uh, who you want me to interview next. Uh, these celebrities have been acting like superstars. Don't we have Lexi this week? I don't know. I don't know. It's festive season, dude. They say yes, and then they cancel. Hopefully, it comes with Mandla. Hopefully, Mandla comes. Not, well, <laughs> it depends who's asking. <laughs> We are here. Let us start with the coming and the hard and all that shit. You are coming, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.